And we're walking, and we're walking, and we're moving right this way, right this way. And we're walking, and we're walking, and we're stopping. I said we're stopping. Here we have Elvis's rug room. These rugs were said to have been handpicked by the king himself. Rumor has it that he would sit on these very rugs in front of the television until he'd fallen asleep. And we're walking, we're walking, we're walking. This rug right here was Elvis's favorite. A big security blanket, if you will. <laughs> in his later years, it took four bodyguards to carry him upstairs when he'd fallen asleep, and they often used this very rug. Next up, Paul and Nanners. Nanners are bananas. Uh, excuse the, me, uh, Miss uh, Tour Guide Lady. Someone is interrupting our tour. Um, <laughs> yes, what is your question? Uh, why is this place called Graceland? See, if you had waited to the end of my tour of this beloved place, you might have found the answer. Can't you just tell me now? <laughs> Sorry, I have my orders. Here we go now, and we're walking, we're walking, we're moving. We're not talking, and we're moving. Here we enter the hall of Nanners. Oh, please don't put your hand on the wall. They're very sticky. I lost my mommy. Oh, uh, she's probably up with the rest of the group. She is? Yeah, I mean, probably. Uh, what does she look like? She's just real pretty, that's all. Probably the prettiest mommy in the whole world. Oh, I used to say the same thing about my mommy. Mommy ain't pretty no more. Uh, <laughs> no, uh, my mommy, let's just say I lost my mommy too. Maybe she's up with the group looking at Nanners. Uh, maybe. Um, what's your name? Tyler Jason Lee. Hi, Tyler Jason Lee. My name is Kelly. Why don't you say we leave the rug room and go find your mom? Hey, Tyler? Tyler, there you are, man. I have been looking everywhere for you, little dude. You okay? I was looking for my mommy. Yeah, I thought you might. Look, she's, she's not here, okay? I'm sorry about this. I'm sorry. I, I don't understand. I don't mean to intrude, but what am I missing here? Yeah, hey, Tyler, why don't you go through there and get yourself a, a banana split, uh, hang out with the nice tour guide lady, and I'll catch you in just a second. Okay. I'll look for my mommy while I'm in there. Sounds good, Tyler. Um, I'm sorry about that. He's, um, he's not crazy, I promise. Uh, we just had a really rough go of it late. Uh, about nine months ago, his, his mom, my wife, passed away. I'm sorry. And um, he's, just, he's just not there yet. Um, he's in this phase right now where he thinks she's like right around every corner and he's just looking for her. Uh, the doctors say that he'll grow out of it eventually, but right now it's... His head just hadn't caught up with his heart, if you know what I mean. I think I do know what you mean. My mother passed away about five years ago. Mm. Well, I'm sorry for your loss. So, so you understand. Yeah, I, I think I do. It's, I feel like my heart hasn't quite caught up with my head either. And I just, I feel really lost in some ways. So are you, are you from the Memphis area? No, <laughs> actually. Um, oh, this is so embarrassing. I'm kind of... Uh, I don't want to tell you, but I ran away from home, and um, it was something my brother did a while back, and it just felt like the right thing to do at the time. I don't know. I just thought maybe I should find myself or something. So all the places in the world you thought you'd find yourself at here, Graceland? <laughs> yes. Uh, it just seemed like a place where anything could happen. I mean, Graceland, it just sounds so peaceful and it probably doesn't but i thought that it could unlock some answers to life oh it sounds so corny <laughs> no i i get it actually if i'm honest with you the reason i'm here this is uh this is where my wife and i had our first date we actually had our first kiss right over there no <laughs> um yeah big elvis fans if you can't tell but uh, man we were young and i i do miss her um i think somewhere along the lines i just kind of quit living Quit having fun living. And it, it's not what she would want, but uh, it just kind of naturally, naturally happened. To be honest with you, I came back here today to, to see if I could kind of remember what it felt like to live again. Anything? Nope. Nothing. Oh. <laughs> nothing. And I'm looking, and oh. I'm looking, and I'm finding. 
Uh, can you two explain while you're away from the group? So my son, you know what, he got lost. I bet you he's back there right now. He's probably covered in syrup. So uh, I'm going to go check on him. Wait, before you go, uh, what is it that got you through everything that happened? You know how you said you were looking for the answer to life? Well, mine's backstage right now. And uh, he's probably covered in syrup. And I'm going to go check on him right now. But whatever it is you're hoping you find at Graceland, keep looking. I think you'll find it. Thanks. Wow, that was deep. What was that all about? Nothing. It would take way too long. Oh, well, come on. Well, wait, since it's just you and me, why is it called Graceland? Honestly? Yes. I mean, what does this place stand for? I have no idea. Oh. See, I didn't read the manual. I usually just make things up for what this place stands for. But people seem to like it. It makes them feel good. I see. <laughs> Why? Nothing. It's just, it's just a house, right? Well, I think Graceland means something different for everyone. This is more than just a tour for you, isn't it? Yeah. Well. King's Mansion has many rooms. I'm sure you'll find one made just for you. Hey, look around. <laughs> I won't tell anyone. Thanks so much. <laughs>